Welcome to my first uh, Pinnacle Studio 10 tutorial. I've had uh, I've got a lot of emails uh, from people that are asking how I did the explosions in uh, Pinnacle Studio. Basically, the explosions uh, were downloaded from DetonationFilms.com, and they're just little video clips uh, that you bring into Pinnacle Studio and lay them over a background image. Uh, there's quite a few of them up there and I uh, would recommend them if you're looking for some nice special effects and the pay packages are even better. So what I did was first of all let's get a background image. I chose this desert image here just for the tutorial and now I'm going to go to my folder where I've got my explosion. Um, I'm going to use the Blast 04 MPEG for this one. You drag it down and drop it into your title overlay and at this point here you can see that it's all black. What we need to do is clean up that black and get rid of the word detonation films. So I'm going to first of all clip what I don't need by just dragging the scrubber over and find the spot right between where the letters disappear and the explosion just begins. And then I'm going to split and delete the beginning of that little clip that I don't want. I'm going to drag the clip over to the left more. Now what we want to do is bring the scrubber over as you can see our explosion happening. Okay. Now what we need to do is get rid of the black background so we can see our desert picture. So what I'm going to do is you double click on your clip of the explosion. This opens up your effects. Go down here and choose an effect to a video clip. Now as you can see, I can see my background, but the explosion doesn't look very good like that. So you have to choose the Studio Plus RTFX. And in the effect column, you want the Luma Keyer. The Luma Keyer is used for a black or a white background um, if you have something you want to eliminate. Uh, the Chroma Keyer is green and blue. That's what they use the Chroma Keyer for. So right now we've chosen the Luma Keyer and I'm going to click OK and now you have some options that, that, that pops up and the Luma Center as you move back and forth you can see how it affects your explosion. Bring it to where you're happy with the way it looks. I'm going to say about there. Your radius gives you options. You have to work with it and feel it out to see what it is you're trying to get, what kind of an effect whether you like and what you don't like. You set it to where you want it. I'm going to darken this here just for the tutorial to show you how you can correct this in a moment. I'm going to darken this a little bit here. So now when you see our explosion it looks pretty good. Now I'm also going to cut out the other, the tail end of the same explosion video clip just so you can save a little space on your computer. Just kind of clean up what doesn't show, what doesn't do anything for you anyway. So I'm going to split that, highlight the section I want to get rid of, and hit the delete key, and it's gone. So now I've got just what I need. My explosion, nice, nice. And now at this point here, like I said, um, let's say, for example, right now the explosion is too close. I want to send it back into the distance a little bit. So you're going to go up here to use the picture in picture effect. You click on that, click on your your uh, explosion video, and now you can drag this around out here to where you want it. You can resize it. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have a problem. We have that black square because I had played with the um, the effect in the Luma Keyer. So what we need to do is go back into that by clicking on the Effect tab here. And the Offset is the one I played with that showed you before when I said I'm going to darken it and then I'm going to clear it up. I just lighten it up and it's gone. See that? Easy as that. Okay. And now as you can see when I play my movie there's my explosion and there you go. Okay. Easy as that. Now you also may want to go on the internet to get some good explosion sound effects that will match that explosion and have a lot of fun with it. The um, 
I might also do a tutorial on